China, we know, is the biggest bilateral creditor to Ghana with about $1.7 billion debts, while the owes about $1.9 billion to Paris club members. The inclusion of China could be a major setback for Ghana, looking at China's slow coordination in debt relief talks like we saw in the case of Zambia. China clearly showed signs of not buying into the idea of granting debt reliefs, even though it later uh, provided support to Zambia. The worry of the Chinese government is to avoid setting a costly precedent of accepting big losses on loans made to developing nations. If we are to take uh, a cue from how China handled Zambia's situation, then we can conveniently predict a difficult negotiation for Ghana with the Chinese. The unilateral decision by Ghana to suspend payments to external creditors could also make matters worse. The development coupled with the agitation seen on the domestic front could lead to significant delays in Ghana's pursuit for the much-wanted $3 billion package from the International Monetary Fund. On the other hand, if Ghana secures a debt cancellation with China, it will be easier to relax the terms of the domestic debt exchange program, which has been the subject of controversies in the last few months in the country.